Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. This will be another episode of Gems and Junk, which is just my fancy name for monthly favorites. As usual, I have a couple of gems to share with you, which are things that I really liked. And then I will have one junk item for you, which is something that didn't quite work out for me this month. So let's just jump right into it. My first gem this month is this Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. I have been in love with the concealer for a while now, and then when the foundation went on sale, I picked it up and I was like, should be good, right? And the first time I actually tried it on, it clung onto some dry patches that I had, and I didn't love how it looked, even though it is literally the lightest weight foundation I have ever tried. So then next time, I made sure to really like exfoliate, and moisturize my skin before putting this on and then I absolutely fell in love. It is a plastic bottle and it comes with your standard pump. It is also one fluid ounce which is quite standard. I like that there are a ton of different undertones and a ton of different shades. I am in the shade 30WY and I am actually wearing it right now. So I want to show you the finish. This is after six hours of wear. So I put my makeup on about six hours ago. I have eaten a whole meal and look at how great the finish still is. Like I have combination skin and so my T-zone is a bit oily and then my cheeks are normal even though like in the winter they can be dry. And I don't get like any cakiness. I don't get any dry patches. If I moisturize well, that is the key. Like I said, this is such a lightweight foundation and it is truly buildable. So it is fairly runny, so you can like go ahead and use a light layer or you can build it up. I have built it up to be more of a full coverage foundation and it is still not cakey. This might be my new holy grail high-end foundation. The next gem I have to show you is this NARS liquid blush, which I am also wearing today. I have sort of my no makeup makeup look going on right now and it is my favorite for this purpose. Like. If you want something to make you look just so naturally like blushed and glowing, like I don't have any highlighter on right now, this is it. It is pretty liquidy and I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit onto my hand right now. So as you can see, it is liquidy so it's running down my hand. The liquidy texture makes it so that you have time to blend this out without it settling too much in one spot, which I like. It blends really well with fingers, but it also blends really well with a beauty blender. Sorry, mine is dirty, but this is what I normally use because I don't like getting my fingers dirty, but it blends beautifully either way, and it gives you this really healthy glow, like this little pinkish look, and it's really buildable. Like, this is just one layer, and so when I use it on my face, depending on how flushed I want to look, I will build up more layers. Like I said, because it's so liquidy, you have time to blend it out and work it out into the spots that you want. And, you know, $30 for a bottle of blush is kind of steep, but it is so amazing. My only caveat is that it only has one shade, I believe, so if you are a much darker skin tone than mine, I don't feel like it will show up that well. The third gem I have to share with you this month is this Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner toning solution is called it has like a little twist top which is nice because you don't ever lose the cap and you just squeeze it out and it is a huge bottle and you know this brand is super affordable i wanted to make sure i gave this an honest try before just like coming on here and saying that i love a skincare item but this has truly like done wonders for my skin so i break out a lot less now my t-zone isn't quite as oily as before and then my cheeks aren't quite as dry as before so i feel like the two zones are sort of trying to meet in the middle now with this solution i do recommend using this only at night and then like ease into it because it is quite a strong glycolic acid it does make you sun sensitive so you definitely want to wear spf and for me like if i go overboard my skin lets me know because it will start peeling also, another thing that I like to use this for, I don't know if I've ever shared on my channel that I right now only use aluminum-free deodorant, and I have for a year and a half now. I also, like, if I'm just staying at home, especially now in quarantine, I generally shower every other day. And so, like, because the aluminum-free deodorant, depending on what I'm doing, doesn't always work all that well, using this on my underarms, like, once, maybe twice a week, does help keep me fresh longer. So... You could give it a try if that's the path you're on. So the last gem I have to share with you before I go into my junk item are these Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Nails. I uploaded a tutorial for these, well, kind of tutorial. It was me trying it for the first time a week or two ago and I will link that up here. 
but I absolutely love how they turned out. They're basically like a good substitute for acrylic and you don't have to shape these nails yourself. The tips come clear, so let me show you. I have the starter kit, which like further in depth in that tutorial, but it comes with like a little case of a ton of these tips that you can size to your fingers. So they look like this, they're all clear, they have a bunch of different sizes, and then it comes with a little four step system for you to like do your nails and it even comes with a little UV lamp for you to cure it. And then you basically decorate and paint them as you would like a natural nail. So I love that it's so versatile because you can kind of like just do whatever you want with it. They have a bunch of different shapes, a bunch of different lengths, so you can, you can just buy whatever suits you. I have had these on for just over a week and they feel like I just got out of the salon still. Like they have absolutely no lifting, no chipping, no damage to them. And I have been able to do everything with these as I would like normal acrylic nails. So for me to be able to get like this nice shape at home without having to worry about like shaping them myself, having them last a long time, which I guess it's only been a week. So I will follow up on that. But I am just so in love with how easy these were to do for the quality. So the junk item I have to share for this month is this Benefit 24 hour brow setter in like this clear. So I bought a little like Benefit brow kit a couple weeks ago so that I could try all the different Benefit brow products cause up till now I have not tried any. Anyway, so most of them are actually pretty good but this like clear gel, it's meant to like shape and fluff up your brows. So I was like, oh, maybe it'll give me like the you know fluffy soap brow type look and it does for like a whole five minutes but it doesn't like hold my brow hairs up like i have it in right now and like yeah i guess it's there a little bit but it just doesn't like hold it as fluffy as i would like it to and for the price yeah definitely would not recommend so i will continue on my hunt for a product that will like give me the soap brow look i'll probably just order a bar of soap at this point so that is it for my monthly favorites this month. I know this one probably got a little chatty, but I am really in love with all the products that I said I was in love with. I hope you have enjoyed these little monthly reviews. I am trying really hard to do them more consistently. Let me know what products you have been loving this month or if you've tried any of the products that I've shared. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!